Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Gavin Fish. Thank you very much for stopping by. Today we're continuing our look at the victims and possible victims of the Zodiac Killer as we commemorate the solving of the 340 Cipher. November 13th, 1970. Santa Rosa, California resident Carol Beth Hilburn was visiting friends in Sacramento. At just 22 years old, Carol had lived a somewhat turbulent life. She had been married twice. The first one was annulled and the second one was coming to an end. She had been separated from her husband for about three months, though they were still on friendly terms. Carol had also become pregnant and delivered a baby girl two years previously. Her daughter had been put up for adoption. Carol had lived in Sacramento the previous year. She lived with a roommate while she was attending school to become an x-ray technician. She didn't like school though and opted to spend her time working as a cocktail waitress at Lloyd Hickey's 40 Grand Club in North Sacramento. The club was a known biker bar. Carol had had problems with drugs speed to be exact and the biker clubs in Northern California at the time were its most prolific and violent pushers. Having not succeeded in school and trying to clean herself up, she moved back down to Santa Rosa to be close to her mom and sister, which brings us back to her visit. On Friday, the 13th of November, 1970, Carol and her friend Deanne, left Santa Rosa to spend the weekend in Sacramento. Carol was planning on visiting some co-workers, her former roommate, and a guy she really liked at the 40 Grand Club named Playboy Johnny. She called the roommate on Friday and they made plans for her to spend the night on Saturday night. It appears Carol went directly to the 40 Grand Club from Santa Rosa. She was seen inside the club by several witnesses, staying there until about 5 o'clock a.m. on Saturday morning, when she was seen getting into a car with two men and a woman. At about 2 o'clock p.m. that day, Carol's nude and badly beaten body was found by residents of Rio Linda, California, in a field about 20 feet from the road. Police were contacted and an investigation began. According to the investigative reports, Carol's body had numerous drag marks as if she had been taken to the location in a car, taken out of the car and dragged across the field to where they left her. There were some needle marks on her left arm indicating possible drug use. All over her body, there was what was described as yellow fuzz. It's possible she was wrapped in a blanket when she was transported. So far in reading the report, it seems like Carol may have overdosed on drugs. However, the report goes on to say that she had been badly beaten. Half of her face was badly bruised and lacerated. There was a superficial cut on her neck, which seems to indicate that someone held a knife to her throat. Over her left eye, there was a two inch wide and deep cut that appeared to be from a hatchet or ax. The two men who were last seen with Carol as she left the club were identified by police, interviewed, and apparently cleared of having anything to do with her death. To my knowledge, and according to the investigation report I have, there haven't been any other real suspects. The murder of Carol Beth Hilburn, as I briefly mentioned in my video about Judith Ann Hawkery, has been loosely tied to the Zodiac Killer because of a spat of murders of young, attractive women in Sacramento and Lake Tahoe at the time. 
Two of the victims were nurses, and reporters at the time incorrectly described Carol as a medical assistant. So people jumped to the conclusion that they must be linked. My friend and former partner Rick Tracewell and I covered this case in depth over on the Solve Crimes with Rick and Gavin channel, which I'll leave a link to. During our investigation, we came to the conclusion that the most likely scenario is that Carol was killed by Hell's Angels over something to do with their drug trade. Rick even found a very good suspect, Terry Carpenter, who later was convicted in the beating death of Mary Lou McNeil, just three miles from the 40 Grand Club. McNeil was the widow of a Hells Angels officer who was making threats to the club over the death of her husband. It appears that Carpenter may have been an enforcer for the club. The man Carol was coming to see, Playboy Johnny, was actually named Hubert John Flannery Jr. He was a known associate of the Hells Angels, and his body was discovered in a shallow grave in 1977 alongside Folsom Lake, just outside of Sacramento. He had two bullets in the back of his head. Police identified two men and a woman who they suspected in the murder. When they went to make the arrest, they found packages of speed everywhere. So, was Carol Beth Hilburn a victim of the Zodiac Killer as the media portrayed back in the 1970s? I say no. She was a victim of the Hells Angels. Who was the actual killer? My money is on Carpenter, but as of now, her case remains unsolved. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below.